Hello, uh, welcome to Maya Max. I've got this scene which I've downloaded from 3drender.com. Uh, this scene name is called The Cabin and uh, it has got some uh, mountains in the back but I just want a water background and a different camera layout. So I just want to... <coughs> I, I'm expecting a different composition here. So I would like to start by setting up a new camera first and then frame it like that. I'm going to use the Arnold here. So my render settings, I'll change it to the Arnold. And I've got this here. Excuse me. So I'll just frame it like that. And uh, firstly, I would like to select everything here. And I'm going to assign Arnold uh, standard surface shader. And in attribute editor, I will put the specular weight to zero and uh, put the specular uh, sorry base diffuse base to uh, 0.6 i would like to set the uh, color management i'll enable color management here just you need to make sure that you have enabled it sometimes when we open a file and its preferences will be loaded and this option will be off so make sure that your working with the color management on there so i would like to create a disk here which you can create from here and then i'm going to scale this disk to somewhere 600 units and uh, i will assign uh, i've got uh, all the shaders for, from which i've downloaded the scene so i'll just open the hyper shade And I'll go to edit and delete unused nodes there. And for the plane here, I'll assign AI standard surface shader. And I've got this scene. Firstly, I would like to create a physical sky here. And it's a light. So I'll get into the render view. And uh, just click the render there. So we get a uh, response there. There's a problem with the, the sky in the Arnold. The horizon, what you're seeing uh, here, uh, has got uh, no control in terms of placement. I can't really move it up and down. So this uh, ground plane which I have taken is 600 units big. So I'm making it somewhere 1500. So that will fix the problem a little bit. I just put it to 2500 and it's uh, almost uh, so i need to scale the plane to the horizons still if it's not working a little bit uh, in fact i should take it way bigger to um, blend that to the background but it ends up in some uh, texturing problem but we'll see so for the background what i really want is i select that ground plane and i just try to look it Okay, uh, I just want a little bit of water uh, to be seen here. So select the ground plane here and I'll assign a new AI standard surface shader. I'll just name this as water shader. And uh, I will choose this geometry section. In bump map, I'll take a 2D texture and I'll be taking a noise texture there. And uh, in the noise, I would uh, choose the type to wispy. And I'll repeat this to 100 times. Okay, I'll just uh, pause this for a while. I'll just save the scene uh, as okay, number three. So I'll select the ground plane here and uh, I will just go to the water and I choose uh, um, some aqua color with uh, less diffuse and I reduce the 
I know the shader, the water is transparent, but I just want the appearance of it. So I want it to be less glossy and in the noise section, uh, I will reduce the bump amount, keep it uh, very less. I get very low. Uh, generally water will be transparent. So you can use the transmission and make it transparent. So uh, for that we need some ground and a different approach has to be given. Uh, so I'll just uh, play with the colors and whatever the color we see it is uh, based upon the environment so I just want to keep that way uh, we can even try code to add the reflections to it uh, which will cast the reflections of the environment there okay so I'll just um, keep it that way for now 